<laughs> okay, Bridget, your report really hit home with us. We were all, you know, straightening our posture and rolling our shoulders and, and that kind of thing. Did you learn anyth anything new in this report? Oh, of course I did. I learned that everything I was doing was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like, I told, afterwards, like, I think I told Peter, I'm like, I'm going to run over to my desk and, uh, you know, make a couple of changes, yeah. <laughs> you know, because yeah. I was like, you know, why is my back hurting so much? And that's when, it, like, when I realized I, you know, I'm sitting, like, on the edge of my seat almost, yeah, mm -hmm. like, all day long, you know, mm -hmm. so that's what's going to going to happen. But, I mean, he was great. He just gave, he gave me so many tips about things that you could do. And, like, one of the things that wasn't in the piece, um, we talked about, you know, some companies who maybe don't have the infrastructure or even are able to afford that sort of uh, the fitness that Staples has. Mm -hmm. What they do sometimes, some companies, they organize, like, uh, different departments will have, like, stair climbers races so let's say for instance ah. they their goal is to you know uh, climb I don't know 10 kilometers or something like that right mm -hmm. so each group will have like a certain amount of time to do it and then each department will try and do it and whoever <laughs> finishes first maybe there's a reward or mm -hmm. you know the, I guess mm -hmm. the reward is fitness in and of itself but some mm -hmm. companies mm -hmm. offer rewards and things mm -hmm. like that so mm -hmm. those are some other options that people can use to, to try and be physically fit or even like I mentioned walking clubs you know mm -hmm. like just I don't know grab two or three people and you know mm -hmm. eat for 15 minutes and then or like walk for 15 minutes and yeah. then come back to your desk and eat for another 15 well, minutes. Mm -hmm. I know there are three women in this building on the third floor every lunch they walk the long hall mm -hmm. of the third floor that's part of they bring their running shoes and that's they talk idea. and they walk and, and they walk quite quite fast and mm -hmm. I'm always feeling guilty if I'm coming upstairs with a brownie to go sit and eat at my desk and think <laughs> okay I should be walking with you but, but anyway. But you know it's little things too yeah. I mean I really should be listening to my husband Peter when he does <laughs> mention things I'm like oh yeah 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 you know that'll be next year's New Year's resolution. Because that we want to say again <laughs> that was your husband. That was my yeah. husband. Yes. Dr. Peter I Williams, he's like, a chiropractor. Yeah, he's a chiropractor and and you know, he talks a lot about like the ergonomics of desks and, and the computers and it's interesting that eight to ten hours is low. But you know, when I talk mm. to him about how I look at the computer and I sit forward, that's why no wonder I have headaches and my neck hurts because mm. I'm always like this. Mm. Or I can never reach the floor mm. because I'm you know, for ten and a half. So he actually told me that I need to put a box under where my chair so my feet actually oh. rest on something oh, because my feet just good. dangle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you ever notice, I have two pillows behind me here mm -hmm. on the couch yeah. so I can reach the floor here, you know, even <laughs> in full circle. Mm -hmm. So these are little things that can help because there always is a lot of strain on your body. Yeah, mm -hmm. and even you know? um, in, the, in the piece, mm -hmm. you saw him put a Yellow Pages book underneath yeah. the monitor. Mm -hmm. And that was so that the monitor is at eye level, right. you know, because mm -hmm. before it was it right. was just on the desk, which mm -hmm. was, and that means when I'm sitting, I'd have to be looking down looking at the monitor. Mm -hmm. He told me you have to put something underneath there to raise it so that you're at eye level, you're not looking down, and therefore, you know, your entire upper body is, like yeah. Melinda yeah. said, yeah. moving yeah. down That, to, that yeah. is an to excellent point. That I think is a good we're point. all going to go to our offices now and, and check <laughs> and our monitor, check. see where the monitor is. Because really, mm -hmm. Lee, being fit is part of the whole package of just being surrendered and being used by God. Mm -hmm. well, exactly. Mm -hmm. I was at the hotel here and I was like, I put, I usually I put my feet down underneath the bed and I try to do at least a few sit-ups every night and do a few mm -hmm. stretches and mm -hmm. then in the morning, because when you travel and I'm on QVC and all these shows, you've got to at least do something to stay active. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's simple though, I mean, even stretching, mm -hmm. like I yeah. never yeah. stretch. Walking. And he's like five minutes every yeah. hour would yeah. actually help your body by just stretching. Yeah. You know, maybe I'll have to just call you up Anna, and say, how's the stretching yeah. going well, every yeah. hour? I think there's something to be said for that, being yeah. accountable to someone else for staying mm -hmm. fit. Mm -hmm. yeah. You say, you know, like these three girls that walk on the third floor, mm -hmm. they're there for each other. They do it together. And so doing mm -hmm. it together, I think makes a big difference. Yeah. yeah, and it doesn't have to be a huge thing. Thing. I think for New Year's resolutions, the biggest, the number one thing is get fit, mm -hmm. be at a gym or exercise. But it really is just walking, like you said, up the stairs rather than maybe take the elevator there, if you right, can, right. walk the stairs. And, uh -huh. you know, I have to be conscious of that sometimes yeah. too. At our office, actually, it's part of our development plan that we do do some form of exercise. Mm -hmm. And like every, really? yep, every three months, and um, we meet with Eleanor Clither when she goes through our development plan and exercise is in it. So what I've been doing is like every three days, I do like 20 minutes on my treadmill at home. Mm -hmm. You know, just basically, you know, but the thing about it is is to be consistent to that's see it. the results. Right. Right. And that's where, and then because yeah. I travel so much, and then when I, I'm at a hotel, like, you know, I don't, you know, you do 
won't have time to go down to the gym. So then you kind of, you know, mm -hmm. lose focus. But, mm -hmm. you know, for me, it's the consistency that I need to, okay, mm -hmm. Vivian, you need to do this. And the accountability. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. And Bridget, right. I think in your report too, it's not just about losing weight, but right. this is a lifestyle. Right. This is a mindset. Mm -hmm. This is a, a lifestyle change towards health. Mm -hmm. right. right. And you know what's really interesting? When I was doing the research for this story, um, Public Health Canada actually has a website called the Business Case for Act uh, for Healthy Living. Mm -hmm. And basically what they have is they it's like a website for companies that companies can go to or even individuals can go to mm -hmm. and basically just sort of it breaks down like the reasons that companies should invest in the health of their employees. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, cost is for particularly particularly in this time is is a big deal. So, I mean, you know, the fact that, you know, healthy employees reduce yeah. health care costs. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You have less mm -hmm. sick days. Mm -hmm. I mean, Sue mentioned it in the piece and things like that. Yeah. So mm -hmm. there's definite there's benefits to the employees and there's definite benefits to the employers as well. So mm -hmm. maybe we should just get up and take a little walk around the tent. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like <laughs> a little <laughs> awkward now. You know, I feel like well, we, we were do doing something. we were doing the yeah. exercises there during the piece there. It was it was really good. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, well thank you, Bridget, for that. Yeah, that, was, that was great. Yeah, really thank good. You. Are you inspired now to do some oh, things? Oh, I am. I've been slacking off on the gym, so I'm <laughs> gonna start again. You know, a few years ago, my New Year's <laughs> resolution, we got, we were given a treadmill. It was a hand-me-down from someone else, and so I said, okay, I'm gonna spend 20 minutes on this treadmill every morning, starting in January, because I know it's important. I put the little earbuds in and listen to the music and stuff, and I did it right till February. I was so good. <laughs> right one month. Till right February. Till February. <laughs> but during that one month, I really was feeling good. So, so what happened? What, what I don't know. Just I don't life. Know. I don't see, and you know life. what? You, you want to know the truth? This is okay. true confessions. Okay. I ended up giving the treadmill to someone else who had a New Year's resolution the next <laughs> year. <laughs> so you're actually doing something good, and yeah. by giving away the treadmill. Yeah. And, Notice how we always yeah. like to blame life. Yeah, That's well, true. busy life. and busy. being accountable. See, Melinda, I needed you calling yeah, me. Yeah, you know, I think Anne, are you on that treadmill yes, today? Yes, you need to do okay. that. Maybe we need to start doing that. Okay. I think it's about the, the word resolution. Uh, you know, our yes. pastor says that, you know, don't make any re resolutions. Make yourself a promise because mm. the purpose is the promise. So if you promise yourself and you know the purpose of it, then you'll continue to well, do it. Well, it's like what Lisa said in our mind, right? Exactly. We, dis we choose, we decide, we, right. we do it and we decide and we're disciplined towards making that healthy lifestyle. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. And it's a lifestyle. Yeah, so it true. is. Okay, Bridget, thank you. Yeah. You did great. That was great. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Your first awesome. day here on the couch with us. We yes. are so glad you're part of this team. Hey, you're not even shaking. Okay. I That's know. really what you do. Internally, she is. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> well, okay. we're glad you're with us, mm -hmm. and we will be right back with a few final thoughts right after these messages.